the governor of Palash yeah. yesterday, what was uh, discussed there? So I was really just very thankful um, that our governor is very willing and uh, cooperative to help our people of Rhoda. So we sought some assistance regarding um, the, our, um, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Yeah. I just have to, because I had a whole list. So it was regarding some of our um, heavy equipment that he was going to help pursue. We needed some funding to secure for the transportation of these items, for example, like a backhoe heavy equipment. Uh, there are also some vehicles that he's going to send down to really assist uh, not only my office, but uh, Department of Public Works. And this is to really help promote the beautification and cleanliness of, of Rhoda. And um, I was also able to inquire uh, additional support in regards to um, the personnel. Uh, Governor Palacios will be adding or uh, increasing our budget uh, for this fiscal remaining of the fiscal year to really help supplement uh, the salaries for our staff. And so, does that mean that uh, you're not going to have to make any cuts right now? No. So I have. Uh, I, I called a general meeting with all my staff and explained the situation because I truly believe that it's very important to be transparent and open and honest with them about what the situation is and we've all agreed and that we all want to maintain everybody uh, with at the cost of redu reducing their hours so that that is the plan moving forward and how many staff do you have now? so I have about 110 um, and so we will maintain that status Although the general fund will not be able to provide them a full 80-hour uh, workday, the austerity measure with the hour reduction will be enforced. So you're only cutting to 72, just like everyone else? So at the moment, because we do not have the um, amount needed to keep them at 72, it will be at 64 hours, and that will sustain the whole um, our whole personnel. So what's the plan there, I guess, uh, on a weekly basis? That, how, what would that look like? So it'll probably, if it, depending on what day that governor um, uh, calls for the, I guess, uh, austerity, right? Uh, I'm not sure I would recommend the Monday. And so if, you know, if it'll be that Monday, then we'll, we'll, we'll continue that. And it'll be every Monday that we won't be able to report to work. And that, that will take effect once the Senate and then governor yes. signs the revised Yes, budget. yes. All right. So... So everyone's going to be working 64 instead yes. of 80. Yes, but we have um, sought out federal grants to help yeah. supplement our budget. So we're going to be hopeful and pray that we get awarded that so we can supplement their hours and be able to return. So I uh, just so I'm clear, you, the I guess your the, the entire staff agreed that instead of slashing some people yes. completely, yes. you'd rather cut everyone's hours. Yes, because we did inform them of the number that we would have to re um, furlough about 30 if we had to. Um, otherwise, if everybody was willing, and they all were, so we were all in agreement, uh, that we would reduce the 64 and maintain everybody. I mean, uh, you know, when this news first came out, uh, you know, lots of people were talking about how eight hours on Saipan isn't necessarily the same as eight hours on the Yes. Internet. And now we're hearing there's going to be even more hours. That's yes. going to be hard, isn't it's it? It's very hard, yeah. but I believe our people are very resilient, and the people of Rhoda are very resourceful. They really subsidize their living, they hunt, they fish, they farm to really help supplement that, whether to feed their family or use that to earn a uh, side income. That, that's something that they've been very uh, aggressive to do. And I applaud them for that. And until we are in a better light and I have informed them that we really have to just buckle down this year, it's gonna be a very tight year. But I, I, sh I truly believe we can come out of it. Uh, coming together, um, it's just gonna be a difficult year. And so 64 until when? That's it's going to be till it's the estimation is till the end of the fiscal year. And that's uh, going to be uh, September. September. Yes, and then the end of September. I guess it's almost a reset. In September, it's going right? to be almost a reset. And we're going to hope and pray that our um, ventures into really helping boost our local economy to help generate uh, income that way will help us allow to hopefully revert back to the 80 hours so we're going to be very hopeful but we we understand the circumstances and and this is the best way for us uh, to approach it and then uh, the 80 hours that's over how many work weeks are that for for, for 80 hours that's remaining over, yeah so we have i believe uh till the end of march uh gov was okay. estimating uh beginning effective april 1st but i do know that they have to give a uh, time um a notice to the employees so it may i would assume that it will probably be a little bit later after april 1st okay. 
but he did share that uh, because of the situation now, the financial situation that we are in, we'd have to definitely uh, make this cut just to stay afloat. Do you think Rhoda needs to have more of a, of a proportionate budget, you know, I mean, uh, given the cost of living there? Of course, I truly believe that. And in, in essence, you can relate that to the federal um, the federal support that they receive from the government, all the, co the uh, cost of living because it's higher people in Rhoda who receive uh, federal welfare assistance. They receive more because of the cost of living in Rhoda. And so I truly believe that's something I hope that our government can look at and, and hopefully our leaders can, can make accommodations for our people that way. And do you know what the average budget that Rhoda is usually given? So is, or for just your mayor's office? Yes, so it's a little over two million. Okay. Uh, and so we hope, and this was uh, with, uh, and that's annually, yeah? yes, okay. and, and so we hope for, for more. We, we appreciate, we, we want to definitely provide an opportunity for people to earn money, but we want to support the business and private sector so that they too can increase their employment and that way it can somewhat shift. Um, we are working with uh, WIA, we are working with the Department of Labor to really provide training and provide other uh, outlets that people can, can venture into so that they can pr uh, tap into other employment opportunities that my office cannot provide. All right, uh, you're almost uh, at 100 days almost. in office. Uh, I mean, is it everything you thought it would be? Uh, well, <laughs> you know, when you're a young girl and you're, you know, you're very aggressive, you, you always, you know, think big plans and understanding that when you enter, you're not starting with a clean slate. You know, you are inheriting what was given and, and it's understandable, right? And, and so I know that so long as we are prepared and have a plan that's going to help guide us, all we can do is take it day by day. You know, we, we can't solve everything and we don't have the resources to be able to solve everything. But I think that you can identify priorities and focus on that and that can make really big changes I've recently made a plan I've begun my um, visiting all my departments so to really allow me to hear and uh, directly from our employees what are the major issues that are affecting them because even too many of the times they have answers to uh, rectify the situation it's just allowing them to share that and, and so by by being there and being with them it also allows me to connect to them and so when I'm reading reports I can relate or I can further advocate for what my cabinet members, the resident di directors, are saying because I can relate to that. And so um, I thought it was very, very helpful and I intend to um, expand that further to town hall meetings so I can get community input and I want to invite our delegation to join us. And so with that will allow me to create our plan for my administration for the next four years. And I do intend to share that um, to my constituents and, and further get feedback and move towards that. But I intend to work very hard and I, I intend to push my cabinet to, so that we can try to make the most and, and get the most for our people of Rhoda. All right, mm -hmm. thank you so much. Of course. Thanks.